Hi, I'm Nikki Kaminga. Today I'm sharing a video from my advanced breast milk jewelry course available on keepsakersupplies.com. In this video, I'm using my client's preserved and dried milk to create a breast milk bead in a water clear silicone mold. I'll finish the bead with a solid sterling silver bead core, which doesn't require any glue. The client sent me 10 mils of breast milk and I preserved 5 mil with a sachet of our breast milk preservation powder. I've linked to the course and all the supplies I'm using in the video description. On Keepsaker Supplies, we have a breast milk bead kit with everything you need plus a few optional tools. You'll need your client's breast milk, finely ground in a white pestle and mortar, UV resin, vinyl gloves, label backing paper, a tiny spoon, cocktail sticks, any sparkles you like, a medium bead mould, side cutting pliers, a part A and B bead core and a set of doming punches. One method you can use is to make the breast milk into a paste. Put a line of UV resin on label backing paper, then add a spoonful of the super finely ground milk powder and combine to make a milk paste. Take your mould and fill with clear resin. Use a cocktail stick to transfer a tiny bit of the milk paste, then gradually incorporate it, working round and round. In a minute, we'll look at the pattern to make with the milk paste, called the beach ball resin technique. Squeeze out any extra and transfer back to the label backing paper. Another way to make a breast mold bead is fill the mold with clear resin, then spoon the powder directly on top. Use the cocktail stick to push it into the clear resin. I'm also making a third bead for the client with some basilisk green resin sparkle mix. You can add teeny bits of coloured sparkle mix to just tint the milk or more to add a bold colour like I'm doing here. You can add gold filled leaf to give the bead a touch of bling or to represent one year breastfeeding known as golden boobies. Cure the beads under the UV lamp for 99 seconds on a low heat, then allow them to cool before repeating again to make sure they're completely cured. You can use the breast milk powder to create a beautiful effect I call the beach ball resin technique. Pull the colour out in swipes from the core like I've shown in this diagram. You can see the swipes are like spokes on a cog and the finished bead looks like a beach ball. This effect gives the bead depth and luminosity and is great with UV resin because the clear resin between the spokes can cure properly. If you make a UV resin bead opaque, there's a chance the light can't penetrate all the way to the core and the coloured resin might remain liquid inside. To finish the beads, remove the excess from the top and gently push them out of the mould. My silicone is very stretchy so it won't break even if you pull it wide to get the beads out. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to my channel or following me. Remove the excess resin from the pouring spouts with side cutting pliers. You might find it easier to use a carbide burr bit like this in a rotary tool to remove the excess resin from the top. Once you're finished, give them a wipe over before sending the client a proof photo. Once you know they're happy with the bead, you can add a bead core. Today I'm using a wooden doming block to stabilise the bead and using a doming punch set to flare the core. You can use the 6mm ball bearing if you don't have a doming punch and rest the bead on a piece of fabric. I have another video showing you how to do this, but the doming punches are much easier to use and give more consistent results. The long core, part A, should show a little above the backwasher, part B, so there's some silver to secure the core in place. If your bead is too thick, there might not be enough to flare over, but if your bead is too thin, there might be too much silver to flare easily, so make sure you're using a compatible mould. Work your way up from a 6mm doming punch to larger sizes until the core is secure in the bead. I'm so grateful for my client's permission to film this anonymously, so I sent this green bead free of charge too. I hope you're enjoying my video and hope to see you soon. Now relax and do some crafting. 